When I wake in the morning, I will sing of your mercies for it's a new day. When I wake in the morning, I will sing of your mercies for it's a new God, we do thank you for this day. Everything about it, I feel the sun on my face. I feel the perfect Florida weather, and I just see love being perfected before us today. So we just pray that our hearts would be just soft and full of rejoicing for what you're doing here. We just pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to go back to the original story. There's a story in Genesis that talks about the original beginning of marriage. And it's funny. And it says this, And the Lord said, It's not good that man dwells alone. You see, God created everything in six days. And after he created everything, he created man. And he, man by himself is the only thing he created that he said was not good that he is alone. Vanessa entered in and changed his life. I remember him talking about this, this strapping, young, beautiful woman. She was involved, she had ambition, she had joy, she actually cared about things. And, uh, and I remember him telling me this stuff and essentially I was like, I wonder what's gonna happen with this, right? And uh, so here we are today in this time and I'm just excited to be about this. Vanessa, you will possess stuff that Chris does not have because everything that's completed in you was extracted from this man. It's no mystery that Chris is really just an emotional, <laughs> consistent person. 
and it's no mystery that you tend to care about things more than he, than he does. That they be done in a specific way, in a proper way, and and if, if you ever get to the point where, where these things are conflicting to each other, just know this, God made you different because you are his completion, and God made you steadfast and consistent because as well, you are her completion. The two are one. These two have actually prepared for themselves some, some initial vows that they'll be talking. So if you, Chris, get those vows out, and, uh, and I know you have your wonderful, beautiful brides with you as well, and they will, uh, they will say these together. Love in some ways is doing things in the best interest of that person, not necessarily what is most appeasing. With this union, I promise to do nothing but strive for what is best for you and our family. With love, adoration, and respect, I promise to put you above all of my life. Um, so writing my vows made me realize how easy it is to promise to love someone forever when everything is going so perfectly and everyone is super happy. <laughs> so um, my vows are a little bit different. Um, I promise to love you even when things aren't perfect because I would rather marry an imperfect Chris than a perfect someone else. I promise to love you even when I'm mad at you. I promise to fight for, for you and for us through thick and thin. I promise to never give up, give up on, on you or our marriage because I believe in us and our love. I promise to keep getting, I promise to keep being better for you. And lastly, I promise to faithfully give you my whole heart for my whole life. By the great state of Florida, my friend, but greater than that, by God himself, we now collectively as friends and family and as your friend and pastor now present you with your bride chris would you please kiss your beautiful bride <laughs> ladies and gentlemen i now present to you chris and vanessa steffens
Good.